What about the aliens? Tell me about the aliens. Well, like, you know, there's one thing I like to quote, and uh, it's from one of my favorite cases that I had the joy of illustrating, the case of Herbert Shermer, who was a Nebraska State Patrolman, uh, whom in back in 1967 was taken aboard a UFO while he was on duty in a town that, well, couldn't handle the truth in so many fashions, because that's what he stood next to in that wonderful experience that he had, an encounter that he had. He didn't have an abduction, he had an encounter which is nearly and merely way different. It's just a beautiful thing that this quote that he used and he told her was, one day you yourself will travel the universe as I have. And that to me says so much and, and says really so much the brilliancy of life and that maybe it does go beyond this planet. Maybe we will be born into that next being where we get to grow into having a spaceship and being able to travel the universe and, and be a celestial traveler who I also believe in my true opinion are looking for that that picture you were talking about is that what it, what do you think the meaning of life is you know what what they're looking for that that's what they're looking for that's they're not interested in us in that you know they're gonna harm us or I really I think they are a mere uh, object of affection and they're not going to serve to destroying or altering our, our current universe and understanding of who we are and what we are. They might allure to the idea and might give us beautiful points of, hey, here's me, smile, which I've, you know, I'll be, I'll be honest, I've seen a UFO and I pointed it out to you three have. people you that, have. yeah, I sure what did have. It, what did it look like? Well, to the darkness of the night sky, this thing was completely black and nearly silent, multi-lit on different lights, different colors. And I pointed out to my friends there and I said, guys, that wasn't made by the government. And they said, <laughs> and they said, and they said yeah, that, that doesn't look like it. What, would it. so What would it be? My thought to it with my, uh, my research into ufology and being interested in that subject, I would say that they were, they were fueling up. They run on electromagnetism and they literally will go over a fault line or somewhere that has a, a unique amount of energy mm -hmm. and literally fuel up mm -hmm. and disappear right out in the atmosphere. Uh, they, it's a charging station merely. That makes complete sense to me. So am I crazy to believe or am I crazy not to believe? That's, I, yeah, I that, think that's the beauty of the wonderment <laughs> of ufology too. It's like, not only are you interested in the subject, but you're asking yourself, am I, am I crazy even for just <laughs> even considering? And you're not, not at all. I think there's not any of us on this planet that can think, wow, there's life out there. And I think that with that sheer energy of wondering and having the ability to wonder like we do, our brains are given that. It's just, we have made truth out of what we've created here, right, on this planet. Yeah. So. If our minds can manifest an idea like that, yeah. can it be truth? I mean, can it can it be manifested, even if it's not really there in many ways? Uh, yes, in my in my book, the book of David, whatever that is, then yes, yeah. yes, 